Oh, crap. What's up everybody, Reese here from StudyNova.com and today, as you can see from the title below, we're going to be talking about a very, very important aspect of your two-year IB studies, which is time management. Now, I'm willing to garner that 99.99999% of IB students, or at least a large majority, are not as good at time management as they would like to be. Now, there could be many reasons for that, and they lead to the negative aspects that I've talked about in the past, so sleep, lack of sleep thereof intense procrastination and high stress because of the last two that lead to high stress of not getting work done. So today's tip I'm going to be talking about is a divergence from the traditional way of thinking about studying and that's the whole concept of setting some amount of time for yourself, an arbitrary amount of time for yourself to study and not actually getting as much work done as you would think. Now a quick disclaimer before I get into this tip is that I only figured that this tip worked for me at university. I didn't actually know how to really study as effectively until I got to university and this is a tactic that I've used throughout my last year at university and it seems to have worked so far. It works for me and now I'm going to be talking about it with you to see if it might you know, work for you and change the way you look at studying. Now there is one contingency on this tactic or this tip rather and whether it's effective or not and that is you need to get enough sleep you need to get enough sleep regardless of whether I give you this tip or not because you're gonna need the motivation and you're gonna need the energy to study and to push yourself to use whatever tactic it is to effectively absorb all the knowledge and information that you're getting in classes so without further ado what is this one mystical evasive tip that I'm gonna be talking about today well it's simply switching from a time-based effort with your studying to an activity-based effort. Let me explain. For argument's sake, you are a generic IB student, school finishes for you at around 3 p.m. You come home at around 3.30 p.m. So at 3.30 p.m. you're thinking to yourself, right, today I'm going to structure myself in such a way that from 3.30 to 4 p.m. I rest, I chill, I do my own thing, shower, eat, whatever that is me time but from 4 p.m until like 10 p.m i'm gonna structure myself such that i'm getting math physics and computer science done let's just say for example so from 4 till 5 30 i'm going to study computer science here's what actually happens though so you'll pick up your generic textbook and you'll go right four chapters of this in an hour and a half easy i got this i got this very easy so let's say you flip through three pages and you're starting to lose you know focus you're starting to lose focus you're a little tired you don't have enough energy to focus on the words that you're reading so you think to yourself you know what i'm gonna take a break i'm gonna just pick up the phone it's fine three four minutes it'll be fine and then an hour goes by you check your watch or you check the clock and you're like oh crap i i i just spent an hour on facebook and now you're starting to freak out you pick back up your generic textbook and you're going okay i have to read through it but oh dear i only have like 15 minutes left to study what's left in this chapter before I have to move on and that's essentially what I'm talking about here is you set aside this arbitrary amount of time and you can't actually witness the amount of progress that you've gotten through with your study you need to allow yourself to feel a sense of accomplishment when you finish like studying a chapter and you think to yourself yeah I know this stuff I've studied it I'm good now the problem with time and setting aside a certain amount of time let's say an hour and a half to do that is that you can't actually measure how much you're doing you can measure it by time sure give yourself an hour and a half but how much of that time is actually studying you know what I mean you just spend an hour on Facebook and then half an hour was actually effective studying which is only a third of the amount of work that you could have gotten done so when I say switch to activity based time of studying I mean all right let's switch it up let's say your physics teacher has presented a bunch of slides in class about a new topic about I don't know forces so you get home and you decide right I'm gonna go on manage back download that PDF file or that PowerPoint and just copy everything on those slides into my notebook the reason why that might be more effective for some students is because the more you copy down and the more slides you go through or the more pages you go through on your laptop, the more you feel a sense of accomplishment because you're actually studying. Now, some of you might be saying right now, 
yeah, but you know, it's a, it, they're slides, they're just summaries of what I need to know. That's fine, maybe you're better at studying from the book. But for the students who are finding a struggle of how they should be studying, this might be more effective because you can see the amount of work that you're actually putting into studying and you can see the amount of knowledge that you've been going through as you progress through the slides or the PDF. In essence, what I'm saying is switch from a time-based mode of studying to activity-based so you can just check off everything that you're doing so far without having to worry about setting aside amount of time. As you go through these activities, you'll know how much it takes to copy down, let's say, 40 slides about a certain topic in biology. It might take an hour and a half or two, but you're not worried about the amount of time that you're putting aside because you're more worried about getting the activity done. And that is the key difference between activity-based and time-based methods when it comes to studying. With activity-based, some students might prefer it. Well, now that I've told you about the tip, you might prefer doing it that way because you can see the amount of work. You can actually see the results of your study. You can see through your notes how much you've copied down and how much you've actually absorbed in the process because you're reading through and you're making sure you're copying it down accurately. Now, some students might still prefer the time base. Now, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying this is a tip for students who aren't finding that whole hour and a half, two hour segmentation process as effective as this new tip might be. Well, that's essentially what it is. Activity-based studying as opposed to time-based studying. Now remember, you need to sleep for this. Regardless of which method you use to study, you need to have enough energy and the mental capacity to be able to push yourself to study. And that means seven and a half hours, seven hours of sleep minimum per night to be able to effectively study using any type of method that you're using now. So yeah, that's the tip I have for you guys today. I hope you found that marginally useful and I hope it can be applied to your studying in the near future, especially as we roll up to the May exams. My name is Reese from studynova.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.